Colon cancer sucks. Straight up, I hate colon cancer. I hate diagnosing patients with colon cancer. I hate the fact that we have to talk about this. In today's video, I'll give you four common signs and symptoms of colon cancer. We'll discuss the risk factors for who may be at risk for developing colon cancer. We'll talk about when to see a doctor and at the very end of the video, my most important tip, I'll give you the number one tip you can make sure that you don't develop this deadly cancer. Guys, let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AK, your poop guru and gut microbiome expert, my board certified gastroenterologist trained at the Mayo Clinic, can see a gastro for all your GI needs and consider subscribing. So before we jump into the science, what exactly is colon cancer? Colon cancer, unfortunately, is a cancer that starts in the colon or what's called the large intestine. And the thing about colon cancer is that it is literally probably the most preventable cancer that's out there. Now what we want to try and do is get this taken care of before it becomes cancer. So before we begin, let me tell you the story of a patient of mine. I had a 64 year old man come to see me with basically a routine visit. He had no symptoms. He was doing fine. He felt good, but his wife made him come see me to see if we can get screened for colon cancer. He was not happy. He did not want anything to do with this. He's like, doc, I feel fine. I don't want this, I don't need this. And what I told him is that, I know you feel fine and I wanna keep you that way. And so we recommended and we talked about doing a colonoscopy just to make sure everything's doing okay because he was of age. So I did the colonoscopy and lo and behold, I ended up finding colon cancer. I hate it when I find this particular cancer because I know it's preventable. Luckily, we found the cancer early, we got it taken care of, he went through treatment, and now he's doing fantastic. He has no more issues, and he's become an advocate for getting your colonoscopy. So what are some signs of colon cancer? Here are the four most common signs that I see as a GI doctor. Sign number one, a change in bowel habits. This is very important. Colon cancer can be a mass in your colon and acts as some sort of obstruction or a narrowing in your colon. So if you're having a new change in bowel habits, that means there could be something growing inside that colon. If you have constipation and all of a sudden you have diarrhea, come see us. If you have diarrhea and all of a sudden you're having constipation, come see me. If you're normal and you're having a change, come see me. Any new change in bowel habits, especially if you're over 45, is something you need to make sure you get taken care of. Symptom number two is persistent abdominal pain. Now abdominal pain is one of those symptoms that is so hard to quantify and know what's going on. It can be due to lots of different reasons. IBS, spasm, gut microbiome, brain-gut interaction. However, for anybody who has abdominal pain, especially if you're over 45, that could also be a sign of colon cancer as well. Number three is unexplained weight loss. Now, I know a lot of us want weight loss. I understand that. But here's the important thing. It's unexplained weight loss. Weight loss you are not aiming for. What happens is that that cancer actually sucks all the nutrients from you to cause you to have weight loss, especially if it's unexplained. So if you're losing weight, you don't know why, come see me to find out what's going on. The number four, rectal bleeding. Now I know people always assume that rectal bleeding is just hemorrhoids. Rectal bleeding is never normal and don't assume it's just hemorrhoids. Any type of bleeding that you have, whether it's rectal bleeding, black stools, maroon stools, or finding out you are anemic or having a low blood count, come see me so we can find out where that blood is leaving so we can get that fixed and plugged up. This video is sponsored by Lubbock Astronology Hemorrhoid Banding Clinic. We take care of hemorrhoids. And I know this is something people don't want to talk about, but if you're suffering from hemorrhoids, whether it's pain, bleeding, itching, or pressure, you don't have to suffer on your own. I know it's a pain in the butt, but we can fix that. We can get this taken care of for you. We do what's called hemorrhoid banding, which is a quick, easy, painless procedure that only takes about 10 seconds. No one believes me. This is the most effective way to take care of hemorrhoids without the need for surgery. So if you want to learn more information about hemorrhoid banding, don't forget to call this number. We can get you scheduled the same day to get your hemorrhoids taken care of. So who's at risk of developing colon cancer? Number one, having a family history, especially if you have a first degree relative, this puts you at automatically a higher risk than the other individuals. So whether it's your mom, dad, brother, or sister, these are the highest risk factors for developing colon cancer. Number two, being obese or being overweight. Overweight or being obese is never good and it increases your risk of developing colon cancer. Number three, diet. We know a diet that's high in red meat, low in fiber, low in vegetables, predisposes you to develop colon cancer. Then lastly, the most important risk factor is age. Simply being older alone increases your risk. This is why we recommend colonoscopy starting at the age of 45 at the latest. So being an old fart like me automatically puts you at higher risk. 
So now that I scared the living crap out of you, when do you need to see a doctor? So number one, if you're having any of the symptoms or signs I described, you're having a change of bowel habits, you're having bleeding, you're having weight loss, you don't know what is going on, come see us, come see me, where I can find out exactly what is going on. Number two, you have a family history, especially that first degree relative. Don't think that you're too young to get a colonoscopy, because it's better to be ahead of the game than behind the eight ball. And then number three, you're 45 or older. What are you doing? Don't wait. Don't become a statistic. Come see me where I can find out what's going on and get you taken care of. Here we go. I told you, here he is. Drum roll, please. Here's the number one tip that I recommend to make sure you don't get colon cancer. What do you need to do? Get a colonoscopy. Oh, come on, guys, you knew this. You knew coming from a GI doctor, this was the answer. Here's the mantra I want you to understand. Prevention is key. We can find colon cancer before it becomes cancer. And the best way, the number one way, numero uno is getting a colonoscopy. Now I know there's a lot of other tests that are out there. You can poop in a box. Someone can stick their finger up your bum hole. But a colonoscopy is the best way. It is both diagnostic, we can see what's going on, and therapeutic. I can find polyps and remove them. There is no debate about this in the GI world. A colonoscopy is numero uno to prevent colon cancer. We can find that precancerous lesion, get it out of here to prevent you from dying from colon cancer. So if you can do anything today, schedule your colonoscopy, come see us at Gastro where we can get you taken care of. Here's my call to action to you. I really want you to share this video with people who you love who are at risk for developing colon cancer. If it's your dad who's not getting a colonoscopy, share this freaking video. If it's your friend who has a family history, share this video. I want us to try and see what we can do to make colon cancer a thing of the past. Here's my question today. I would love for you to share your experience on whether you know somebody who got their colon cancer screening to prevent colon cancer. Your comments can make a difference in someone's life. Comment down below. I would love to hear your stories and what you guys have to say. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everyone.